My whole life, my mama told me, you know, keep going, you know, keep striving for excellence. That's what I had to do. kids at Willie Middle School were very special to me because I went to Willie Middle School. It was a great learning environment for me to re-emphasize the importance of education and where you can be. And them seeing somebody that came from that school, I think they really touched them. And that's what I try to do. St. Louis was fun, you know. I, I never had been there before and McCord North, they showed me a good welcome experience. And now I like to travel, you know. I think I really touched with the operation so fresh. Hopefully they recycle. Um, I came here to talk to y'all about speakers. So I have a couple speakers in public speaking class, but I also have a couple speakers that I want to talk to y'all about my nonprofit organization. Uh, it's called Operation So Fresh. Can I hear I say Operation So Fresh? Yeah. Operation So Fresh. Operation So Fresh. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
nonprofit organization called Operation So Fresh. Let me y'all say that. Operation So Fresh. I say Operation So Fresh. Let me y'all say Fresh. Operation So Fresh. Yes. Yes. Operation So Fresh is a nonprofit. Our friend so fresh is a nonprofit organization geared towards revitalizing the society. Use a more equality state university. Um, I just got my grace in. I made the dig for this. You know what I'm saying? I just got my grace in. Alright. Alright. Anyway, I'm gonna Um, alright. But look. Um, if you want to go to Tennessee State University, I have a name of this. 1817 on the ACT, and I can get you in and I can get you free money. This thing called the ACT on academic coming March. They don't have something major here in Georgia, so they have no uh, yeah. ACT, I'm going look that up. You get your state tuition, I get you another $3,000 for a free enough by scholarship. No, the funding part, because, you know, the school's got a, uh, a thing specific. Specific funds for the school, then it got specific funds for the PTO. But it's a PTA group. All I was saying. So you pay if that idea on it. Actually, I, I'll see Mr. Kelsey. Yeah, I saw him this morning. I'll, I'll mention it. Because, see, I would like to uh, volunteer some time, but right now, until I, I'm still under the doctor's care, um, I don't know what all I'll be able to do because, you know, when they declare you disabled, you have to go through so much. Uh, I got injured on the job. I fell on hit my head on the floor just like this. So I have been. Uh, diagnosed with several things. My whole right side is messed up. I have fibromyalgia. You might not can tell it, but this hand is bigger. This side is bigger. It swells up. And uh, I was really, and Jared was going through that all when he was having those personal problems. When he was 14, I had got injured at my office. That's when I got shot, too. And he was going through changes because he kept saying, Mama, he said, as good as you are. And they weren't backing me, see. It took me five and a half years to get my disability. Because I'm telling you, you look for the school system, they don't want to talk about me. I don't care how good a worker you I was an excellent worker. I worked in the office. I substitute taught for the uh, teachers whenever they would be absent. I all of the apparel was in there. That was apparel. And then I was in the office. I worked in there. I helped sign students up for, uh, when they came in and just everything. And then I did beers and ice cream. I worked in a library. In fact, when Jared was over there, when he was in pre-K and kindergarten, I volunteered as a parent volunteer over the classroom, and then I volunteered so many hours that I got the Apple Award. So that's how I really got started hiring in school because Mrs. Thornton, who was the principal at that time, Gretchen Thornton, she's in College Park now, um, she said, Mrs. Willis, have you put your application in? And then I said, no. And she said, I'll hire you. Because I was trying to get hired in Clayton County because I knew they were hiring there. But I volunteered because Jerry was in the school. Tech. Well, look, this is what I got. This is my. This is what I got. All right, I speak right. Move to move. Y'all have a uh, pet right. I come from one pet right. And that's what I was doing. I've been doing this. I did this last year. That's what you need. I want to do here. Try cities, back or West Lake, May, there or all of them. I want to speak. Then I want to perform at the pet right. And incorporate that, uh, all together. Person? I got a song called Pad Pull Up. I'm talking about stupid swag. Cause you know what I'm saying. I come in that thing. Tight, you know what I'm talking about? Polo down, you know what I'm saying? Bam, bam, bam. Pad pulled yeah. up with my gut on. You know what I'm saying? But it got to be a, a five song that kid, you know what I'm saying? Can feel to. Yeah, you know, one of my songs. But just talking about the women pad pulled up, got to be swearing up. It's really like like James Brown said, say it loud on Black and I'm Proud. Going back to the about? old school. 